Jim, well, I have Peter Reed with me, one of the uh, Everton walking wounded. Now, how are you going to? How do you fancy describing that first half, Peter? Um, I'm not a great watcher of uh, the lads. I don't enjoy it really, but I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thought it was a great first half, and obviously the goal we got just towards the end um, was a great fill-up for us. With United's lowly position, Everton obviously knew that they were in for some game this afternoon anyway. I think when you play Manchester United, you're always in for the big game, and um, they're down there at the bottom of the league. There's a lot of pressure, and I think you can tell that by the way they're playing. I don't think they're as confident as they usually are, so it's up to us to try and capitalise on that. I thought we'd done well first half, considering the problems we've had. It was a perfect start for Everton. I thought uh, Graham Sharp did ever so well for the goal. He sort of hung in, in, the, uh, in the air. And I didn't think it went in at first. I thought it bounced on the line. The keeper got it, but luckily for us, it went over. So it was a great start for us. Your mate Robbo then came back in to think? I, um, it's just like him, isn't it? The man for the big occasion. He hits one. Um, I'm not sure whether Mimsy will be happy with it, but from where I was, it just went through a crowd of players and then just sneaked in. So, I mean, back in the game then. But that, that goal um, just before the interval, I mean, that's a great one for us. I mean, all that to be absolutely delighted in the dressing room now. Yes, Kevin Sheedy's goal coming as it did right on half time there. Now, what effect is that going to have on United, really? Well, you never write them off, that's one thing. And I, uh, the boss will be in there telling our lads to go out with the same attitude. But um, great filler for us. And uh, he's, uh, Sheedy's been in great nick this year. And he's, I think that's about his fourth. So we'll be out with the same attitude and hopefully um, keep in the lead. I've got to ask you about your own injury, Peter, and the rest of the walking wounded, because you're still undefeated, the only first division side still undefeated, which is remarkable. Well, it's all credit to the um, management and the, the lads who have come in and done ever so well. Um, I'm coming on nice and, um, nice and steadily. Um, the only thing I've got, I've got a problem getting on the treatment bench. It's that hectic in there. It's first there, first served. <laughs> There's the bell for the second half. We'll hand back uh, to the studio to uh, John Watson. Cheers, thank, thank you, Peter. Thank you because uh, these Everton supporters have seen their team take a grip on this match and bear in mind that um, they're playing Everton without seven first-team players altogether. Um, it's been uh, mentioned quite a lot, the casualty list, but just for the record, Neville Southall, the goalkeeper, still out. Four full-backs, Gary Stevens, Alan Harper, Pat Vanden Howe and Neil Poynton, all injured. And then, of course, the midfield pair, Peter Reid, who you just heard talking to Bob, and Paul Bracewell. And I was talking to Howard Kendall just yesterday, and he said of those seven, only Neil Poynton is really in with a chance of playing as much as a reserve game in the next ten days or so. So there's still quite a way to go before Everton are back to full strength. So the second half. Field at the back. And that was Cedarbeck, and the rebound didn't favour Davenport. It just evaded him. Heath to Sheedy. It's the first time football again in build up, which has made Everton look smooth and direct. Stephen, skillfully done. Power, right foot this time. Sharp coming in with McGrath to clear. Here's Stephen, and Wilkinson couldn't make it. Well done, Sieverbeck. United's defence being examined from both flanks here. Trevor Stephen again. Everton and being able to spread the play first to one side then the other power Wilkinson came off the knees of Moran corner Robson's header out this time Langley Mountfield's in there so was Wilkinson and if Wilkinson had got hold of that first time it could have been 3-1 instead here's Davenport Robson's well forward in the centre, and Stapleton's there as well. Good save by Mims. Made his mind up early and got the benefit of that decision. 
Langley. Heath and Clower. Now the midfield has to defend for United. Ratcliffe. Receiver back to Whiteside. Now Strachan is making a forward run down the centre. It's Augustin. United's turn to push the ball about. Davenport. Alberston. Stapleton and Robson in together. And Stapleton coming in behind his captain. By two defenders there. And McGrath. Langley, though, for Everton. Sharp. Heath has made the run forward to support Wilkinson. And Wilkinson in on the other side of Moran. And now it's Turner's turn. And the goalkeeper's come a long way here. He was standing on the penalty spot. Virtually from the time Sieberbeck knocked the ball in. Sieberbeck to Moses. Moses to Whiteside. That's a lovely ball for Stapleton. He's got Orbiston coming up in support here. Oh, Stephen and Sheedy have played some attractive stuff in the middle of the field. Moving the ball about sweetly. This is Orbiston. Moses. That's a nice pass. Sieverbeck. Stapleton. Ball was going to be Watson's. Sharp back to Stephen. Again, right across the pitch. Here's Ratcliffe. And Wilkinson's coming in with Turner here, needing more on hand. Goalkeeper could have done with a couple of inches more there. But here's Robson. Strachan. Moses to Sieverbeck. Moses wants more, but that's going nowhere. Mountfield. Sheedy in a bit of space, is sharp. McGrath's header out. Watson is well forward, this is Stephen. And the pace was taken out of that shot. Watson's return for Sieverbeck, and he ran on well, and Stapleton... Mountfield's there too, and this time a foul on the goalkeeper. Robson. Davenport. And blocked by Stephen for the corner. Taken quickly back to Orbiston. Robson's in the centre, and Moran's joining him now. That's a very good pass by Langley to Wilkinson, who's going to go past Sieber back here. They've got Stephen coming up in support, and Sieverbeck hung on and got a foot in from behind. And Watson gets up with Stapleton. And Sharp heading it on, and off the line. And here's Power. Well, Adrian Heath was unlucky.
Sharp got the flick on from that corner, and Adrian Heath nearly made it three, but here's Orbiston for Manchester United. And Stapleton can't reach it. Wilkinson. Oh. Oh, I was just saying that it's been a very clean game, and uh, McGrath took Wilkinson rather high there. Robson to Strachan. Here they come again, Moses. And Strachan going at Ratcliffe. Still Strachan, and it came in the end off Watson. That was a good run. And short to Strachan. Now there's a player free on this side, it's Olsen. In by Strachan. Here's Robson. Stapleton's hovering away from the far post. There are five blue shirts in front of him. That was Sharp. And here's Sharp against Moran. And he's put Langley through. Heath's coming inside to join him. There's Heath. A superb goal! That's a terrific finish from Adrian Heath, and it just about finishes off Manchester United. Sharp beating Kevin Moran, Langley on his way, and Adrian Heath began his run now. Langley saw him, it was the perfect drifted near post ball, the lovely flick header away from the goalkeeper, and that's 3 1 to Everton. And it's Adrian Heath's first league goal of the season. Mighty pleasing for him, having come back in after the departure of Gary Lineker. And it seems certain to have clinched three points for Everton and taken them up to second place in the first division. More misery for Manchester United. in the table for Everton. A deeper dilemma for Ron Atkinson and Manchester United. Playing style for Howard Kendall's team. They stayed in it at 2-1, but Everton's extra gear in the end was too much for them. And the purposeful, penetrating football with which Everton made the first half sparkle came again right at the end to clinch the victory. A good advertisement for the game, a good start for our live... Well, just as we were getting our breath back now after that uh, explosive finish to, I think, do justice to Everton's efforts at the end of the game, they did deserve to win it and a three-goal margin provided, or two-goal margin provided just that extra bit of excitement at the end. But if you miss the goals, enjoy them now. Good header by Sharp. Power. Good cross. Sharp. Hit the bar. And in. Graham Sharp strikes for Everton. Stapleton's in there. It's going to come to Robson. All through a crowd of players. And in. Manchester United have equalised. Sharp, Watson's in there, Sheedy, goal! Everton are back in front. And here's Sharp against Moran, and he's put Langley through. Heath's coming inside to join him. There's Heath, oh, that's a superb goal! Well, a very subtle goal there, really, to round off the afternoon from Everton. Uh, really, it was a splendid afternoon for football, no bookings.